What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Mom Heroes. Today we got Pawns of Loki which is an amazing new game mode. I didn't think this kind of game mode could exist in Fae that is not a mindless auto battling mode or like completely pay to win hellhole. It's none of those, it's actually really amazing. It does take strategy and it's really really fun doesn't have any kind of stupid stamina or any kind of currency tied to it so you could play it unlimitedly which makes it so much fun so I've definitely played this mode for a few hours and I have got decent score as my high score I would consider this like decent uh, on the top players everyone has got 10,000 so I would think that this is like decent enough so 9.5k is decent in my opinion so if you haven't really played this game mode then you would definitely learn quite a bit from this video and just in general this game mode is just so fun to play and to watch in my opinion. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video and let me know about your experience with this game mode in the comments. So with the basics, team building, the HP stat is the most important stat in this game mode and HP stat can be obtained by having merges basically. So, unless you're a whale, there's no way you're going to be having these kinds of plus and merge units. Um, so that's why you want to use your friends units, as you can see. I have a lot of friends with strong plus 10 units, so feel free to do that in the comments, exchanging friend codes and stuff like that. So I have some really, really powerful friend units. I'm going to be using them mainly because I don't have these many plus 10 units. And the second thing which is really important to team building along with HP is diversity. So keep in mind there are combos which are shown here. So you need to team build according to the combos and in my opinion, the best type of units to use here are obviously Sword Axe Lance units as well as Beast units and Dragon units. Now even though right now there is the melee bonus going on right now, um, you don't need to have your entire brigade with like melee units. It, it, they could have some tomes and bow units as well, I did try it and you're still gonna be having the bonus but just the fact that, you know, mages have low HP, like this is a plus 10 Lynch, he still only has 40 HP, that's not really all that good. So there are two types of units which you need to have in your brigade. The first type of unit are gonna be your frontliners, these really really bulky units that have healing special like Brave Edelgard here, Legendary Dimitri, Brave Ike, Garm, Ephraim. So these frontliners you need to have that and then you need to have your quarterbacks. These quarterback units are going to be offensive powerhouses that can absolutely demolish your uh, foes with stuff like Gale Force and very high attack. Legendary Edelgard is probably the best one in, in this category because her Raging Storm is going to be active. Unfortunately, I don't have a Heavy Blade 4 um, like Legendary Edelgard in my brigade because that would have been optimal. So those things you have to keep in mind. And the other thing is that absolutely throw out units that have Fury or Push skills. You cannot have you know, self damage here because like I said, HP really matters in this game mode. So you don't need to have any kind of self damaging skills here. So they're not really going to be all that good and you shouldn't really use units like that. You could obviously use your own units, but like I said, I'm using friend units because they are really strong and it does make it quite easy. So let us begin. This is fun. And yeah. your first few turns, you basically want to get your bonuses here. Um, as you can see, these are the combos. You just want to have those combos first. So we have a Lance Fighter. Um, I started with Pain. So you have a free reroll here in Mulligan. So you could use that. I'm going to be using um, Edelgard here because she is really busted. Let's see what we could have gotten from Mulligan. Yeah, we could have got another Legendary Edelgard, but that's fine. Ephraim would have been really nice too. And if your frontliners can uh, double down as an enemy phase as well as a player facing it, that's really good. So here frontliners will attack first. Um, unfortunately pain took quite a bit of damage so your starting format is going to be randomized. But then you could pick your um, units. So yeah, movement doesn't really matter in this game mode honestly. So we're going to be focusing on the types now, the combos now. So I do have a pain so I could add Keaton to my squad. So I'm gonna have Keaton here. So I do have Weapon Strangle and I also got the move type combo. This could go up to plus six actually. So I just need to get a flying net then. Um, I'll reroll here. Unfortunately was not able to get anything. This is basically your bench here. These uh, four spots here. So whoever you like you can have them on your bench and use them later on. 
um, I think I'm gonna try to have Ephraim um, because he's a pretty nice friend liner, so I'm gonna try to get him right here. And in first few turns, you don't want to go for the trios and stuff. You just want to, you know, just go after your combos. Um, so yeah. BC Nuts are really good because they can double down as weapon types as well as movement types. And BC Nuts do have Gale Force. That's another reason why I'm not using like Tomes and stuff like that. Because unless your name is Legendary Leaf, you don't have Gale Force. And I really prefer Gale Force in this game mode. Alright, so now we have the third turn. The first three turns are basically warm up here. So I could get Legendary Dimitri here, so I think I'm gonna get him. Um, and I just need to get a sword. As you can see, I have the weapon type here, but I need to get a sword unit um, now. So I'm not really bothered by... I could have... Yeah, I'll just take Edelgard here. I could actually sell these later on, so I don't really mind. Um... Yeah, so who am I getting? I can get Tibarn here, so I'm just gonna have my Edelgard and Keaton go so that I can get a flying unit here. And as you can see, my move type bonus is now 6 and weapon type is 6 as well. So when I maximize on our combos here, I need to get uh, Ronald from my brigade and that should be good. Alright, so yeah, let's, uh, let's begin actually. It was pretty good. I'll have Dimitri as the frontliner because he does have a healing special. So I'll take that over Pain. Yeah, so as you can see, the combos are really, really important. And on your first few turns, you want to maximize on your combos instead of going for like trios and stuff like that. Sure, you could add them to your bench, but in my opinion, going for combos is really important. So, yeah, I'm actually getting... Okay, yeah, I'm actually getting pretty lucky. This is a pretty easy one. Yeah, so having our frontliners with dis uh, distant counter weapons is really good as well because they can retaliate back to these kinds of range units. Um, so now, what do I need next? I think I need to have like another flying unit and I'll take Pirate Tibarn. So as you can see, my move type um, combo has increased to 6, which is really good. I just need to get Ronald and a sword unit. I'll take Dimitri so that I could get the trio later on. Um, I could get trio later on. Okay. But I'll go for Dimitri trio here. Um, okay, so your frontliners are basically going to be engaging uh, first. And then if your frontliners are gone, then your quarterbacks can reach the backliners basically. Felicia's going to get that annoying debuff, but Dimitri doesn't care about that. Yeah, all the frontliners will attack first, and then our quarterbacks, so that is going to be it. We didn't really lose any kind of HP, so really need to have bulk units, and that's why merges matter so much. Alright, um, yeah, I got Celica, so that's nice. Now I have um, the 6 here, I need to get 8 here, and 6-6 six, six is the max you could get here, honestly. You could get the 4 move type pair, but it, it's still 6 and, and I think, because I did try that once. So this is fine, honestly. Uh, wow, I got Brave Edelgard, so that is really good. I could use Brave Edelgard. Um, she's really powerful. So I'll have her, actually. And let's have our free reroll. I'm gonna have Dimitri here. Who are we getting? I could get the trio of Tibarn, so that is going to be really helpful. Yeah, Tibarn with trio is going to be really good, so I think. Instead of investing into Brave Edelgard, I'm actually going to go with Tibarn. I won't have the bonus then, because I won't have like two flying units. Let's go for trio Tibarn. So as you can see, my move type reduced here. Um, so you have to keep that in mind too. But it's not really that big of a deal. I could actually just have my, um, I could just have my Dimitri go here and add another pain. And it's going to be going back to six. So yeah, I wanted to have Trio Barn so that he could have Gale Force. All right, now we have units like this and this should be good, honestly. Celica is really nice. Very powerful. This is a minus attack Paula. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Let's go. Just need to get Ronald Fair to max out on my combo, basically. But even this is pretty nice. Yeah, so you need to have some bulky nuts here. 
So these kinds of armor units are really good and movement doesn't really matter at all. So armor units are not a hindrance. Um, yeah, Kane is not going to be doing any damage. Yeah, Edelgard barely survives. This was not good, actually. She didn't have had um, Legendary Edelgard here because she took quite a bit of damage. And now Pain and Double Pain are going to be finishing off. Yeah, Keaton is going to help. Yeah, so I lost quite a bit of HP on my um, Edelgard right there, which was not good, actually. Alright, we can have Trio Pain here. I could also have Dimitri as a uh, Trio later on. We have... Um, we do have Nasala here, so I could actually use him. Yeah, instead of having Pain. Um, I'll take Dimitri, actually. And let's have a reroll. Yeah, I got Ronald. There we go. Uh, so we got Ronald here. And I could get 8 now, I think. Yeah, there we go. Pain was not needed, so I could just kill these pains if I wanted to. Um, to get what? Edelgard? But I guess I'm gonna save them for now. Yeah, I don't think I need anyone. So, we could have Dimitri take on these two red units. Edelgard is gonna be fine. I could have, uh, Celica here, actually, yeah. I sh actually, I should tr probably try to get, like, Brave Edelgard. I'm gonna have Brave Edelgard. She's just very nice as a dual phase unit. So, they are very powerful. Look at the amount of HP I have. Yeah, just a uh, massacre here. And that's done. So only Celica took like two damage, I think. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, Corin is gonna be kind of annoying with that sudden panic. But I don't think she can sudden panic us. I could have Trio Dimitris. So I'll go for that. Eret Bar is online now, and I think Edelgard. I, if I could have another Edelgard, that would have been nice. I'm gonna take. This one actually, this one actually, and gonna re-roll, so I could have Trio Celica right here, uh, which is really nice, so I'm gonna go with that. So I've got Wild Sword now, and do I need Pain? <laughs> I have no need of Pain right now. This is the max combo you could get, I think. Yeah, I think I'm good. Dimitri is absurdly powerful. So maybe I'll have Dimitri take on Corin. But he does have low resistance. I'll have like this. Yeah, this should be good. Need to get Ephraim soon. I'll have Brave Edelgard over Ephraim. Alright, let us uh, start. Let's go. Yeah, Gunter is not doing anything and we are not getting sudden panicked by Corin. Do we even have buffs? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't check. Oh, so Brave Edelgard took 14 damage. No, that's not good. And she doesn't have a healing special. So that is not good. Uh, so lost a bit of HP right there. 7,000 is our score. Um, oh god, we have Chris here. Alright, I could have Trio uh, Edelgard, and I also have Duo Ephraim. Duo Ephraim is uh, absurdly powerful, and we do have these uh, drugs here, so Duo Ephraim is gonna be pretty nice. I'm gonna have Trio Brave Edelgard now. Yeah, there we go. And um, I'm gonna take Ephraim. And I'm gonna reroll now. Do I need to have anyone? I think I'm good. I need to have, like, more Edelgards. Yeah, I got Edelgard here. All right. I don't need Pain, actually. Yeah, I don't have use of her anymore. Um, whoever we get first, that's gonna be nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use, um, from here actually 
I need to get like Keaton's and stuff. I'm getting Merce here. I don't want to sell off any of these units right now. Would have liked to get uh, Edelgard, honestly. Legend Edelgard. Okay, we could have the trio, then I'll go for that. Amir is online, along with Raging Storm. So that is very powerful. Alright, we're good to go. All of the BC nets in the back line, absolutely beautiful. I mean, Drog is not gonna be doing any damage whatsoever, so it should be fine. Unfortunately, Chris will be able to double my Legendary Edelgard. But zero damage. Oh, 19 damage, never mind. <laughs> deleted! <laughs> deleted, absolutely deleted. Gale Force. And. Yeah, unfortunately, Palas are very bulky, but not like they could do any damage to me, anyways. Okay, never mind. Definitely did quite a bit of damage. I'm just losing HP on my <laughs> Edelgard. I need to have more Ephraims. Okay, this is the final one then. Um, we have got Reinhardt, so yeah, Brave Edelgard is knocking him out. And I'm having Dimitri here take care of these. Do Ephraim takes care of them. Um, Sword Celica doesn't really do too much here, sadly. Um, I guess we could have uh, more Ephraim. I do have six. I'll re-roll, actually. Okay, we could get more of that. Keaton, Keaton is just not showing up, sadly. Or even Ephraim. Keaton showed up, okay, so I'll take that. Um, who else do we have? Yeah, Keaton shows up, nice. We can have the trio. Um, I think we're good to go. I don't think I need to have anyone. I would love to use Edelgard, but sadly... Actually, yeah, I'll use Edelgard here. Doesn't really matter, honestly, because she can just mirror through this. I'll re-roll again. Okay, got Nisala. This is the final one, so... Okay, I could have Trio Brave Edelgard. So I think I'll take that. I think uh, Edelgard's job is done here. She takes too much damage. I'll have Trio Brave Edelgard. And that's pretty much it. That is gonna be our final squad. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to charge up my... Actually, I should have... Yeah, I should have this. I should have Duo Ephraim to take care of uh, Evil. Yeah, nice Ting Ting by Reinhardt. Dead. And my Aether was charged up. Yeah, this is uh, actually going pretty good. Alright, that was pretty nice one actually. I actually broke my high score. Uh, which was 9.5. I got 9.8, which is really amazing. Yeah, that, that was actually pretty fun. So, your cumulative score is also going to be giving you rewards. So you're going to be getting those as well. Um, so that is pretty nice. I find this game mode really fun. I'm going to go again. And this time I'm going to play fast because, like, I did explain all of the things beforehand. Okay, so we have got Sothis. Uh, I don't really like Sothis because I want to, like... Combo up, so I'm gonna go for a better one. So you could just reroll for your first Pharma, I guess. Yeah, Duo Ephraim is nice, I'll take that. And I'll also take Brave Ephraim. Yeah, so no damage here, but that's nice. I just need to add a Sword in it now to have my combo. Um. Okay, so I could try to get Pain and Ronald. So I'm gonna try to do that. That's good enough. I just needed to have like one sword unit. I'll refresh now. Yeah, no sword unit here. Just getting Sothis. Alright, this is fine, honestly. Took a bit of damage, but that's fine. Alright, now, can I have a sword unit, please? Legendary Dimitri is very powerful, so I'll actually take him. 
Um, yeah. No sorting net. I'll take uh, Keaton though. I just need to get Pirate Ted Barn now to have my bonus. So six, six, four. Yeah, I just need to get like a flying unit. Waiting for like a Nisala. But this is fine too. I'll have uh yeah, Dimitri like this. Let's begin. Deleted, deleted, no damage taken, so that is pretty fast. Yeah, first three turns are just the warm-up. To get Dra, Reinhardt. Got my sorting net. Uh just need to get Pirate Tibon. I'll take Duet from the roll. I'll take this as well. Yeah, so we'll have them like this. Marita is definitely pretty nasty right there. We should be good, I think. Need to get like flying units. I'm not getting any flying units. Need to get like I just need to get Pirate Ted Barn now. And like a flying unit. So he's gonna double down on that, and that's why like these units are so good. And gone. Come on, please give me Pirate Barn. Yes, got my TB boy. Trio Brave F from time. So I got the space, I got the units. I just need to have like two flying units or like two armor units. Um, let's see. Um, I'll re-roll. I'll take Salika and I'll re-roll. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Just looking for another flying unit. Maybe I could have another Ted Barn. I would, like, replace my pain with Nesala if I got her. So, we should have them like this, and we should be able to win pretty easily. Okay, I don't know why my thing is lagging, but... Yeah, Jill is really annoying actually as a unit. Gaytri and uh, Shinon are also really annoying. There are a few units which are really, really annoying to face, like Kiel is also one of them. Alright, so now we have turn 6, and I could get Trio. Do Ephraim, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, I really would like Nesala. I'll take uh, Legendary Edelgard though. Oh, I could have Trio Celica now, so that is really nice. Um, I'll take that actually. Yeah. So I just need to have like Nesala come here, <laughs> and that would be really nice. But Nesala is not in the mood of showing up. So, unfortunately, that's gonna be that. Alright, so I do take on Flora pretty easily. Take on Corrin. You don't have the armor effective bow. You are annoying. I would lose my thing. I would use uh, Dimitri here on the front line, actually. Alright. Just look at the amount of HP I've got and the amount of HP they have. It's uh, not even of comparison. So that's why having these frenzy nets is really amazing. Garm with that healing is really nice. Yeah, zero damage. Thank god she doesn't have the armor effective weapon. I still get the nightmares from <laughs> Hall of Forms. So just lost a bit of HP on my Brave Ephraim, but otherwise a pretty nice one. Alright, can I please have Nesala? No Nesala here. Um, I'll take uh, Dimitri. I'll take Heaton as well, so that I can... Actually, I'll take Pirate Barn. He's more important because of... Uh... Okay, I could make the trio now. So that's the trio. And I should take Heaton as well, since I can. Okay. I'll actually take um, Legendary Edelgard over Dimitri because it does add my score. Uh, so yeah, that should be good. 
two armor units is also nice for the movement. And we should be able to handle them pretty easily. Raging Storm is really nice here. So let us uh, begin. That's done. Okay, Ishtar actually doubled and proc that. But it's too late. Raging Storm is active now, so yeah. Alright, second last. Oh man, Jill, Nikaya. Are you kidding me? That's not good for my armor units. And uh, Celica. Okay, finally got Nesala. Ooh. So now I don't have to use like um, two axe armor, so I could have Ledger and Dimitri. I think Ephraim is a bit more helpful here because of that Gale Force. I don't think he's gonna be taking that much. He does get doubled by Jill, so that's not good. I'll take Dimitri here actually. Pain is really not that useful anymore. Tebarn and Nisal are just better. I'll actually just reroll. Okay. Mini Nerva is actually pretty nice. I could make Trio Edelgard. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. I don't really need it. Next time, Pirate Barn is gonna be nice for the final one. I'll take Ronald, actually. Yeah. All right. Please don't do too much. Okay. Oscar is not really that powerful of a unit, so that helped me. Ooh, Jill did too much. Okay, I was underestimating Jill. I mean, I have phased Jill before, but... Oh, I lost Dimitri. That's not good. I should have used, like, Duet from here. That extra defense would have been nice, I guess. In any case, um... Now we can have Trio Edelgard, so we'll have that. Let's re-roll. Getting nothing here. Trio Tebarn. Yeah. Nothing else here. So this is the final one. This is the final one, so... They do have the armor effective... ...weapon here. And they can double my Ledgering Edelgard, so that is not good at all. But Edelgard has got a lot of defense, so I don't think it should be that big of a deal. Could have Pirate Barn reduce the damage with that attack res uh, uh, attack speed rain. Sorry. Um. Uh, yeah, this this is better. Let's see how much score I get. I did mess up right there because my Dimitri went down to that Jill, so probably not gonna be having that much this time. Raging Storm is one hell of a drug. So that is gonna be it. Oh wow, I actually did have uh, 9.8, but I did have a bit higher last time. So 9.8 seems to be the thing right now with this brigade. I could like get 10 if I have some brigade units, I guess. But still, this is pretty nice. I'm happy with this, actually. For like the first page, you definitely need 10k. I'm really close to it, so maybe I'll get it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a bit about this new game mode. I'm actually having a blast playing this. Um, so yeah, I want to thank all of my YouTube members for their constant support. And if you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It helps me tremendously. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because YouTube sub boxes are like the Jill from this video. They just killed me. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.